What is up guys, I am Get Flanked, and with Operation Grimsky, we're getting two new operators. Maverick, the attacker, and Clash, the defender. Ubisoft was nice enough to let me capture some early gameplay with both of these operators, and today we're going to talk about Maverick. Tomorrow we'll do a video where we talk about Clash, but today's video is going to be all about the attacker, Maverick. Now before we get into Maverick's loadout and some gameplay, I do want to say up front here that I walked away extremely impressed with Maverick. He is going to change this game, and he's going to be a force to be reckoned with, and he's extremely versatile and powerful. And you'll see why as I explain through this video in my in my overall thoughts, but I just wanted to say that up front. Maverick is going to be a force to be reckoned with. Now with that said, let's get into his loadout. We'll show you what options are available there, and then we'll show you some gameplay of me using his gadget. So Maverick is a three-speed, one-armor attacking operator. He's got two primary weapons available to him, both of which are new weapons to the game. First of all, he has a DMR called the AR-15.50. It's a DMR that is a 50 caliber weapon, really hard hitting. You can see there it does 62 damage, uh, but it, the uh, capacity is only 10. So that's kind of an interesting aspect, a very small magazine there, but a very hard hitting weapon. Mavic's other primary choice is the M4 that's on the screen right now. You can see that it does a damage of 44, a fire rate of 750, and a capacity of 30. That recoil pattern there, I'm not sure what's going on with that. That's not how the recoil felt to me. It does have some vertical recoil. This gun, to me, kind of reminded me of the R4C, but with slower fire rate. I don't think it's as good as the R4C. I think it's um, an above-average weapon. It's going to be easy to use. I think you'll see most people running this, but it's not god-tier assault rifle status. It's just maybe like an above average assault rifle. As far as the sight and attachment options for both the DMR and the assault rifle there, there's nothing out of the ordinary. All sights are normal, all the grips are normal, all the barrel attachments are normal for the DMR and the assault rifle, so nothing really out of the ordinary there to report. Moving on to Maverick's secondary option, he only has one. It's a pistol, a semi-auto pistol, and you can see there it's a low capacity, high damage, 55 damage, but only a capacity of eight. This is a new pistol introduced to the game. It's the 1911 TAC Ops is what they're calling it. Again, nothing out of the ordinary as far as sights or barrel attachments uh, as far as I noticed with that secondary pistol, but again, very hard-hitting pistol, but only a magazine of eight. Now, finally, as far as you can see with his gadget options there, he has smokes and a claymore available to him, and those are really strong options for him. You're going to see as we go through, as he puts holes in walls, I think him having smokes to be able to smoke it off for a glass is going to be really strong and something you're going to see him do a lot. Uh, using a claymore to watch your back while you're you know, destroying a wall or something is also really strong. So uh, really good gadget options there for Maverick. Overall, his kit is really strong. Nothing crazy crazy about it, but really strong and solid. Okay, so now let's get into some gameplay, and we'll talk about my thoughts on Maverick, how I see him being used, what makes him so powerful. Uh, but I do want to say before we get into this, as far as the gameplay you're going to see, I ended up playing Maverick for about five total rounds, but I was only playing him twice in the times where I could capture. So I played a total of two rounds that I could capture with Maverick. And in those two rounds, I was really just messing around with his gadget. So it's not going to be the most dynamic gameplay you're going to see. With that said, uh, whenever I was playing with him later on, whenever I couldn't capture, I, I, I fragged out a little bit more and, you know, started playing him uh, like I normally would. But uh, in the gameplay you're going to see, it's mostly just going to be me, you know, messing around with his weapons, seeing his recoil and uh, his gadget, how it works and stuff like that, which in all honesty, what really makes Maverick unique is his gadget. So uh, I think the gameplay is still going to be beneficial to give you guys an understanding of how he works and how his gadget works, but you're not going to see me going off necessarily. Okay, so let's get into it here. Maverick has the blowtorch, and you can see on the screen there that his blowtorch has a limited amount of fuel in the bottom right there. You can see that fuel goes down. So he is limited on how much he can use that blowtorch by the amount of fuel he has. He can't open holes as big as thermite, for example. It just doesn't have enough fuel for that. With that said, he can open a hole in a reinforced wall big enough for him to crawl through. So that is a possibility, but I really don't see that as his primary use. You can see right there, I put a hole in a soft wall and you can see how much, uh, how big that hole is, um, how that you know animation kind of looks whenever he's, he's opening stuff and how much fuel I use there. So it kind of gives you an idea of how much of a hole he could make. I really don't see him being used a lot as a hard breacher you know he can do that it makes him really self-sufficient that he can do that in a pinch but 
you're going to see right now what I think you'll see him use more as. Uh, right now, you're going to see I put a hole vertically looking down, and it's extremely easy. And not only is it extremely easy, it's extremely quiet. That is the big thing with Maverick. His gadget makes very little noise. If there's an anchor and there's stuff going on around the objective that's making noise, you probably aren't going to hear Maverick make a hole above you and then get a perfect line of sight on you. And that is what is going to make him so strong. Right now you're seeing me try to put a hole in a, in a floor that's not soft. Uh, by the way, this gameplay is on the new Hereford base, so you know you get a glimpse of what this map's going to look like as well. Uh, but uh, obviously he doesn't interact with any floors that aren't naturally soft or any walls that aren't soft, it's only reinforced walls, soft walls, soft floors, just like any other operator in the game, pretty much. Now, right now on the screen, you're seeing my teammates up to shenanigans. You'll probably see this a lot because you can use this blowtorch in free form, meaning you're not restricted to any shapes or sizes. Uh, you're only restricted in the amount of fuel you can use. So you're probably going to see stuff like this a lot. People are going to be really creative with what they make with this blowtorch. But make no mistake, it's not a meme tool. It is... Uh, going to be used to get a lot of kills and have a lot of utility as well. To illustrate exactly how strong Maverick's Blowtorch is, I'm going to let a clip play now with the sound here, but what I want you guys to pay attention to is, first of all, he does this to a wall that is banded, and second, how quiet it is. I don't hear this at all, and that's really the strength with Maverick and what is going to make him such a nightmare. Zone, you will be detected by hostiles. You have been spotted. So, okay. And that's quiet, man. That's perfectly quiet. So yeah, really powerful clip there. A bandit charge does nothing to stop Maverick. In fact, Maverick can com completely stop a bandit from have, from tricking, you know? I mean, with that hole there, I wouldn't feel safe trying to put that charge down to stop a Thermite or Habana. So that's really powerful. The fact that it's perfectly quiet is another thing about it that's that's so powerful. Imagine being an anchor and having some you know other sounds going on around you. Would you notice that that hole's being opened? I mean, I was literally setting that up, and I turned away, turned back, and the hole was there. I didn't even notice it while, and I was looking for it. So a little bit more gameplay here. You are going to see that uh, his blowtorch does do damage, both to enemies and friends, so that's definitely something to be aware of. The... I want to get into some some overall thoughts now with, with Maverick. The really weird thing with him is as far as I've found, there's no operator that interacts with Maverick in a unique way, meaning, uh, you know, like a Twitch drone can drop a mirror. Okay, so that's a unique interaction between those two operators. And there's nobody that does anything funky to Maverick. It, it, I have Not that I've found anyway. And that's pretty weird. You know, uh, I don't want to say that he doesn't have a counter, he just doesn't have anybody that prevents him or makes his life uncomfortable. He can just go anywhere and do whatever he wants at any time, really. Uh, it's it's kind of crazy. Now, keep in mind that these holes go both ways. That's going to be true in any situation. So if you're opening a hole in a wall, you can shoot through it and your teammate can shoot through it. Uh, and the enemies can shoot through it as well. So that's, that's something you do have to keep in mind. That's something that's going to, um, you know, limit his capability, I guess you could say. But the big thing is that when you're putting those holes, there's a really good chance that the enemy's not going to know about it. I mean, think about situations where you can just run around and put small holes here, a small hole here, go up top, put a small hole here, and then rotate back to those holes later in the round. You can have teammates. Imagine opening a hole in a reinforced wall and then uh, having a glass look through it where you're going to see bright yellow bodies through that hole. All in all, I just think that Maverick is going to change this game. And he is going to make being an anchor a really difficult situation. I mean, you think about being an anchor and having a buck above you. How uncomfortable is that? But at least you have the sound cues. Hey, there's a buck above me. Hey, there's a sledge above me. And you, you, know, you, you know that they're up there. You know that you need to take cover. With Maverick, he might be up there. He might have a small hole looking uh, towards your direction. And you might not have any idea. And that's really the big takeaway that I have from my time with Maverick. He's extremely versatile and extremely self-sufficient. You just see, saw in that clip there, he can go vertical both up and down, you know, very similar to Buck. So you think about all the operators that he can kind of imitate. He can imitate a sledge because he can destroy the floors. He can imitate 
a buck because he can destroy ceilings and floors. He can imitate a habana because he can put holes. He can imitate a thermite. He can do hard breaches. He can imitate uh, a thatcher because he can you know get rid of a bandit trick. So I'm not saying that he can do any of those jobs as good as those operators, but he's so versatile in that he can kind of cover all of those areas. And it's really powerful. You think about when you bring a thatcher. How many times are you bringing a thatcher for the sole purpose of opening a reinforced wall? So now you bring a maverick instead of that thatcher. You put a little slit there so that the bandit can't trick. Thermite goes up and opens his wall, and then you're free to go around and go open another hatch or open some lines of sight from up above or below. That's really powerful. Um, I can't stress enough uh, just how much I really think that Maverick is going to change things. And especially, it's going to make it really tough to be an anchor. You're going to have to really depend on your roamers to get out there and kill Maverick and not let him sit above you and open up these holes. It's it's kind of similar in how you deny you know your, your vertical play of a buck or something, but it's going to be even more important now because as an anchor, you're not always going to know when that Maverick's above you or in the wall next to you or you know what lines of sight he has. So all in all, that's my first impressions with Maverick. He's going to be a staple in this game. The fact that he's a three-speed, his guns make sense. I know that Clash is kind of getting the headlines right now because he's a shield operator on defense. But Maverick is probably who you're going to see have the bigger impact on this game. My advice to you guys, if you enjoy using three speeds, if you enjoy being uh, self-sufficient, give Maverick a try. I think you're really going to find him very, very useful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure that you like and subscribe. And I'll have more coming your way here soon.